hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today we are going to understand uh, some things about tableau like calculated field and parameters okay and we'll try to create a simple uh, worksheet or chart you can say okay so i have a video games data here okay and let's try to understand the data first and then we can uh, go with the uh, creation of worksheet okay so there are 11 fields here as you can see there are rank name platform your general publisher okay so now here as you can see there are different genres here like sports platform racing like these are the genres of video games and then the publisher is nintendo and then we have north america sales uh, europe sales japan sales other sales and global wide sales okay so and we have also like a sales uh, ranging from year 20 uh, 2006 to something okay so we have some range of here okay so let's try to create a sheet here okay so as you can see uh, there is nothing here so we'll try to create a uh, year wise sales data of these uh, europe global japan and north america and other sales okay so before that uh, but if, if we create the year wise sales like this so year here and then europe here so we we need to create five sheets like this right for five different things so we don't want that so what we will do is we will create uh, in this chart itself we will create uh, all this so for that uh, let's create a parameter first so we will create a parameter here so we will write uh, zone wise sales or zone sales okay and then we will uh, replace this as string because we want it then we will write least then we will replace the names of uh, these here like europe sales then enter then global sales enter then japan sales enter then north america sales enter and then global sales like other sales right so os caps other sales okay and okay so we have created uh, the list of all the uh, countries or you can say yeah countries japan yeah so after that once you uh, create the list uh, click ok so as you can see a parameter is created here zone sales okay and uh, once you get this zone sales what you can do is uh, we will create a calculated field okay so for that uh, we need to create a calculated field here so we will write uh, what we will write let's write zone sales itself okay so then we need to write case zone sales then when then we need to mention eu sales then we can write eu sales okay then when what it is global sales then global sales then when it is jp sorry jp sales then it is jp sales then when it is any sorry it is an a sales then it is an a sales then when it is other sales right always caps other sales then it is other sales then we'll click end okay so uh, when we will write this uh, code piece of code right no, it will say calculation is valid if there is some error if i miss the end then it will say calculation contains errors okay so keep that in mind and then uh, you can write it okay so in this way we have created a zone sales uh, calculated field then apply okay what it is is the zone sales can a circular reference okay uh, let's copy the speed of code then we'll delete this because it is saying zone sales contains a calculation let's write zone then we'll write this okay now we'll write apply and then okay okay so now we have created a zone calculated field 
so if i mention this here uh, you will see like uh, you will get these kind of things and then if i create on show parameter here you will see uh, eu sales here then global sales then japan sales and then north america sales and then other sales also. so this is the use of parameters here okay so let's uh, create and duplicate of this okay so that will get this area chart then uh, click on this and then click on dual access okay so that this graphs will get combined now go to the second uh, dual axis like second chart of this and click on area chart here okay and then you can select the color whatever you want so let's select blue here yeah yeah blue it's fine okay and after this what we will do is we will try to get the uh, sales of uh, different genres here okay so let's place this genres here so when you place this genres here uh, you will get all the sales of genres like this is year 2010 then it's racing okay and the sales are something like that okay so now what we will do is uh, we will try to get uh, like these kind of genres okay so first we'll write uh, let's uh, add general in filter also okay okay so if i add this let's click on okay and then we need to have the okay we need to have the filter show filter okay and then we need to have the edit filter not this okay it's here i think yeah so we will get a drop down kind of thing okay so here also and then after that we do not all okay if you want to select a specific genre then you can go with action and adventure here so we will get this kind of scenario okay and you get action adventure here genre okay this kind of thing so we don't need this okay let's delete this that's fine okay let's select this action and adventure yeah we need this also yeah so let's add general here also so that we'll get these kind of things now we have got uh, our parameters uh, in line here and then general is also in line so let's select all for now okay and then once you get this uh, what we will do is okay uh, we need to have some of zones also here okay let's go here where is zones, zones. yeah here okay so you will get on these kind of tiles also here okay so for now let's remove it you can uh, play around with this okay so once you get this uh, let's also create one more parameter uh, you can say so that we can get whatever year we want okay so for that let's create one more parameter here and let's name it as start date and then it let it be integer here and then it should be range when workbook and then here click on here okay and then we will create one more or create parameter that is end year okay let's write this as e and then integer okay and then range and workbook then this should select year okay okay now if i do this uh, let's create one more calculated field for uh, selecting this okay so uh, let's select your period okay and then write if year is greater than and equal to start date and year is less than or equal to end year okay um, then it should be one okay 
else it should be zero so end okay so now see calculation is valid so let's click on apply and okay so once you get this period let's convert it to dimension okay so that we can add this into filter let's click on one and then apply okay so now see once i applied this period filter nothing is there okay because start date and end date uh, they uh, like collide okay because start date and end date is 1980 itself so now if i click on end year here 1998 and uh, end year is yeah 2015 and start date is 1980 so we'll get this kind of things okay so this is all about the graph guys okay so you can also oh yeah format the titles here like we can uh, rename this and we can write uh, year wise sales okay year and jenna G N R E right? Yeah, general Y seals and then click on enter. Now you can edit this also. So control A and then go to center bold and you can also increase this and apply. Okay, okay. So this will uh, get the uh, title in the center and then you can also edit the title. Not this. Okay, you can format the title actually. Yeah, so we can go with the color something like that or go with gray color okay and then uh, since you want the space here just click here and then edit axis and then here you can delete this okay so once you delete this So uh, you will get some space here extra. So edit access and then let's delete this also. Okay. So we got this kind of graph here and then uh, you can also format uh, this. Where is format format? Yeah, this one. So let's go to tablet workbook. Let's keep it bold and then size. Let's increase some size and keep it the black color. Okay so this is how you can edit and format this so now what you can do is you can get uh, the genres whatever you want and also you can start date and end date you can play around with this so these are the sales you can get zone 2.79 that is yeah and the racing then year is 2016 and these are the sales okay some of sales whatever you have got so this pretty much saves like a lot of time because for every country like this is other sales then you can get eu sales right so when you are uh, getting different zones here you you will have to create different sheets of graphs here so this saves a lot of time for you uh, and it it also like uh, solves the business with respect to business problem it solves uh, the time consistency like constraint like if you want to uh, give the analysis of some sales uh, that is zone wise sales then you need not create five sheets of five different zones and what if there are different countries right so you can uh, make use of this kind of uh, worksheet or this kind of calculation and parameters and you can try to create your own graph or sheet okay so this in this way you can uh, make use of calculated fields and parameters here so basically we have created uh, three parameters that is zone sales and two calculate uh, calculating fields that is zone and one is period so basically we have converted period from calculated field to uh, dimension so that we can add it in filters okay so this was all about today guys and if you learned something and understood something from this video of tableau okay uh, so do hit the subscribe button and until then take care bye bye